This movie demonstrates the new Cachivorous algorithm improved. Latest version of Spacem, which is now the name of the project which uses the real-time ray tracer that I've been coding for at least the last decade, depending on how you calculate it. And I invoked the tracer. That's all ray traced, folks. I mean, it doesn't normally shoot extra rays from hit the first hit point, but that's just, that's an accident. I mean, it could. And now I'm drawing. Right now I'm drawing holes into solid blocks. And now I'm going to just go through the blocks at my disposal looking for the one that I want for the example that I'm about to show. I'm looking for a green sphere. And one will appear shortly. I'm drawing those. Ah, I'm drawing. Let's see. A lot of these are just empty holes. Ah, pink haired girl for a second there. Ah, there's the green ball. Okay. We're going to do something with it. We're going to do a lot of things with this. Okay, first of all, we're going to draw it. Now, instead of sniping into, I'm sniping on top of. Drawing in free space. Shortly, I'm going to make the ball smaller and continue to draw it. Now, this ball is a composite object. And I can also draw a little ball into a big one. And what happens in this case, because I haven't made the ball the kind of object that when it gets drawn into copies itself so that it's separate from all the other ones of itself that exist in the environment, because it doesn't do that, it means that to draw a small one into a big one means that every single green ball is now full of little copies of itself, which in fact, of course, means that it's now a fractal. And this just, it, it, it's very easy. To, oh, there we see. So now every single green ball is a fractal with little scum or filth of itself. But now I de-invoke full screen because of what I'm about to do. Now the green ball is on my hand or on my mouse now and I tap the key B and I get, I freeze the ray tracer and I get the code that generates the green ball the module. And the first thing I do is I'm changing the name of the module and the name of the file to something else. Possibly the next. I'm just using the next thing in alphabetical order. And that's because I can't modify code and reload it. I can modify code, compile it, and instantiate a new object can't unload objects that are being used. And now that I have changed the color of the ball that I draw, I'm going to res the file. And you can see in the log that it in fact resed. Now I'm going back and you'll see that it's now orange. 
I have an orange ball, which of course has none of the excrescences I added to the green ball because those weren't in the source code that generated it. So you can see that I've already drawn little orange spheres onto into the, the green spheres and we'll go quite a bit further with this. Also notice that uh, I have some facility for drawing lines of voxels. And this is so amusing apparently that I have forgotten to go back to full screen which would make a better film of course. I wonder when that will occur to me. Now I venture to say that this there's got to be something in here that wouldn't be possible to do with a rasterizer. In fact I think there are a number of things. And this technology is necessary if we are to create a real-time ray traced perfect monstrous hybrid of Second Life, Minecraft, and the very, very worst parts of Internet Relay Chat, the very underbelly. Oh, by the way, mirrors. This is a distorting mirror, not a as a singularity in the center, but it is a mirror. You can't do mirrors with the rasterizer. You can fake them, but you certainly can't do multiple reflections, which is no problem here. QED.